to open an Excel file in Julia, uh, install an Excel file reading package, then read the Excel file and then do something with it. That's what we're going to do in today's video. I'm learning Julia and I'm here to share as I learn <laughs> and hopefully uh, if you see any mistakes, please correct me down in the comments below. So the first step is to switch to the package installation mode. We're going to add uh, two packages today. We're going to add this uh, data tables package and the Excel files package. So let's start with Excel files first since that's the purpose of the video. We're going to add Excel files to this computer. I don't think I've used this package on this computer before. I'm just learning Julia myself and, and sharing the process as I go with the YouTube community. It, so if you see any mistakes, please let me know down in the comments uh, because I'm always interested to learn. Uh, now, what I want to accomplish in this video is to read from this Excel file I've got here. This is the uh, births of um, New Zealand mothers from the number of births uh, by the age of the mother uh, in New Zealand from the year 2000 to 2019. And I want to read this into Julia and see if we can't come up with some sort of average of the number of births. Now, I know it's not a strict uh, it's not a very robust data analysis method. However, we're just learning Julia at this stage. Of interest, it's got this column at the top, which is probably something that's going to, this header column at the top, which I wonder how uh, the package will handle that. I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, I haven't tried this myself. So hopefully that's installed, oh, nearly installing. Uh, I've noticed it can take a while to install Julia packages, though given how extensive, how many packages there are, I don't exactly blame it. There's also a uh, compilation step after this, where packages are compiled to be used on your computer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is leave it here and come back in a second when this is done. And we're back. So it looks like it's uh, the Excel <laughs> took the Excel package took a long time to install. I think what's happened is it's installed some uh, Python package as well, and it took some time to compile that. Uh, so as you can see, I was browsing Facebook in the meantime. Uh, okay. Now the next thing we'll do is install data tables, which I think I've already have on this computer. And this one takes a while to install as well. And I think I need to add the statistics package though. Yeah, it looks like that's already installed. Okay, now we can exit uh, package mode with control C and we're finally ready to read in our Excel file. So let's do this command here. We know that we're on uh, sheet name is births. So we can do DT equals data tables. Uh, then low, oh no, we've got to type in using. So using, uh, what was the name of our Excel package? Using Excel files, files, data, tables, and statistics. And of course, we've got to wait for this to compile. So this is another one that takes a while. I'm going to come back in a second. And it's still going. It just looks like it's downloading another package to install. Uh, hopefully that'll be done quickly. I was just trying to compile. <laughs> so it's interesting the way Julia manages packages, though it is very hands off, but it takes a while to do. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'll come back in another second. And Julia's finally finished. So let's see what we can do. I was doing some research while I was waiting about what we can do next. Uh, so the first thing to do is to read into our data table. I'm using this command. Uh, so, oops, that's the command prompt one. Here is this one. So our data equals our data table equals data table load. And we're going to apply our births.xlsx and our sheet name is births. So we're going to put in the sheet name of births and hopefully that'll give us the whole data table in births. Now I think this is all stored in computer memory. It's on a stream read, which means that uh, if you're trying to load in a big file, it might end up a bit slow. There are alternatives uh, to reading in row by row and analyzing row by row, but 
not sure how to do that at this stage. So, okay, so we've got our data table loaded. It seems to have just pulled straight out of the Excel. Nothing strange going on here. Uh, we've got the year, we've got the mother's age, and we've got the count. So it all looks it all looks nice and easy. Uh, so let's take a look at how to use data table. Uh, let, let's take a look at finding the average of this count, just to prove that we've done something. Uh, so I think the way to do it is a syntax like this. No, okay. What about with talking? What about the string? No, okay. Uh, right, so I saw this used earlier. We want to... Yeah, no, that's right. How to query a data table. Uh, interesting. So I'm curious what I've done wrong here. It should be DT length like that. Now, as you can see, I'm learning Julia. Part of learning a new language is trying out new things. And obviously something's going wrong here. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Uh, invalid index count of type symbol. Okay, well, what if we just try it without count not defined? Okay. Let, let me do some research. I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, I finally figured it out. I was thinking too hard. So the simple way to access the column is simply to do dt dot column name. So dt dot period will return all the periods. dt dot count will return all the counts. So to take the mean, we do mean of dt dot counts, and there we go. That's the mean number of births in New Zealand across a whole range of ages and and uh, years. It's not a very robust statistic, but it is a way that we can summarize the data from our Excel. So what we've done in this video is we've installed the packages to open up Excel files, to read them into a data table, and to summarize them using a mean. Uh, if you're interested in more videos about working with Julia and, and experiencing what I've learned, come along with me on my journey to build a program from with Julia and hit the subscribe button. Every couple of days I'll release a video like this that uh, shares my experience learning Julia. So I'll see you in the next video.